Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Nursing Education Tutor. My name is Cheryl Spencer. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the etiquette when you're in an online classroom. Wow. So of course, online classes are not new, but this is 2020 and because of COVID-19, most schools have gone to online or distance learning, which has included an adjustment for both students and faculty and their parents and their significant others. You know, suddenly you're not leaving your home to go to a physical classroom. Classroom is in your house, at your work, in your car, in the garage, and certain things like that. But it's really important to, to be mindful that you're still in a class and there's some expectations and that's part of the reason I want to do this video and I'm sure there are other videos out there. So first and foremost, what you should keep in mind is that the objectives that were stated in your in-person classroom are the same objectives in an online platform. So let me repeat, the objectives that were stated for your in-person classroom are the same objectives in an online platform. So there's some similar expectations. Of course, it's going to be done differently and remotely, but the expectations are the same. So I'm gonna address a few things in this video. So let me start with the first one. Professionalism. Professionalism is going to be an overriding uh, topic expectation in every classroom. The topic professionalism sets the standards for behavior, sets the standard for accountability. And let's start with that. So one of the key parts of professionalism is attendance. Mm. Yes, there was attendance when you went to class in person. Some instructors, some teachers actually took an attendance and others chose not to. You're, most of your adult learners and teachers do have academic freedom and right to how they manage their classroom. But let me state it quite clearly. Most teachers take attendance, if not jotting it down with a pen. They know who's there and they know who's not there. So attendance is important. Punctuality. You are expected to show up on time. You're also expected to show up on time for your class online. Now here's a little bit of a difference. Now in person, if your class started at 9 a.m., you know, of course, you know, be outside the room about five to nine, get in there. There's a little bit of a difference with an online platform. I would prepare a good 10, 15 minutes before. Make sure that your browser is ready to go. Log in, be it Zoom, Microsoft, or Blackboard Collaborate, whatever platform being used to get together so your teacher can know you're there. It may take some time to access, get on. If it's your phone, make sure you have good internet um, connection as well. And, and those that's important for attendance. You know, th there's an accountability there and there are consequences. Now, of course, students have spoken about that to me. Well, you know, if I'm late as a student, uh, there are penalties. What if this, the teacher is late? Well, that's a conversation, you know, to be had. But I tell students to, you can control your own behavior, can control your teacher's behavior. So you can control your behavior and exhibit the behavior that will yield a positive consequence. Let me repeat. Exhibit the behavior that will yield a positive consequence. Being on time will yield a positive consequence. Well, you have to show up, but that's not the only thing. So attendance, be on time. The next thing I want to talk to you about getting online is your background. Now, I deliberately, when I film, I make sure I have a clean wall. Um, I'm not trying to advertise what's in my home. I'm not trying to advertise if I'm in the garage. I don't want you to see the laundry. I don't want you to see certain things. I don't want you to see the TV. Sometimes if I'm lecturing and I have um, HDMI cable hooked up, I may 
point to the TV screen on the wall that has the PowerPoint. But the purpose of my background is not to advertise what's in my home. It's quite distracting unless you're giving a tour of your home and you're currently in class so your background is really really important you don't want it to be too distracting um, be mindful also what you wear um, of course this is my channel nursing education tutor I can wear that if you're in your classroom nobody wants to see your pajamas no one wants to see your underwear that's not professional despite the fact that you're in your home at this moment you're in class Wear a nice t-shirt, plain t-shirt. If, if you normally showed up to class rocking a jersey of your favorite team and that's okay, that's fine. Uh, but it's a professional environment similar to in class. You could have on blue jeans on the bottom because nobody can see down there. But where you're engaging, you want your classmates, your instructor, facilitator, whoever the person is um, running the course, see you and hear you and no focus with your distraction. In addition to the background, I want you to be mindful of noise. Of course, you might be in your home and it's a bit different. You know, let your family members know that, you know, at about this time, I'm gonna be in class and just keep the noise down to a minimum. We understand that now you're home, people expect certain things, but people walking back and forth in your background, it's quite distracting and you're in class. So really, really important. You can just get a plain background with that. Another thing I want to talk to you about in an online class is communication. And what you're going to find is that probably the same individuals that talked a lot in person, probably are the same people that talk a lot in an online platform. And it is the role of the facilitator to manage that. But you want your voice to be heard. And you want to hear, you want your voice heard in a professional manner. No screaming. Utilize your mute button. Utilize your video button. Utilize your raise your hand motion. In most communication platforms, there's a, a button that you can click to notify them that you're raising your hand. Raise your hand, ask your question, and put your hand down respectfully. This is what's supposed to happen in person other stuff navigating your button i'm going to ask you to refrain from doing personal chats on the sidebar have you ever meant to send a message to one person and then it went to everybody it has happened so be very very mindful it's texting in class when you're texting in class or passing a note in my time you know every once in a while that note get interrupted and you don't want that be focused for that time that you're in your class so just be mindful of that don't do any texting and personal stuff it's it's professional it's lack of professionalism do that when you're finished you can do that on your on your time so we've done professionalism we talked a little bit about communication uh, you know raising your hand so you can be heard but just as in class um, still listen listen so you can learn I'd like to talk a little something about alcohol consumption indeed you would not walk into your in-person class with a container be it closed or open you would not drink in class there's no expectation that you're going to then do that in an online platform. Yes, you're in your home and you very well may have some alcohol, whatever choice. This is not the time to be drinking during a class or even drinking at any time soon to when your class begins. And if you happen to be a nursing student, and most of you listening probably are, your instructor can do an assessment even through a video platform and can see some signs that may suspect that you are impaired. Is it 100%? Probably not. But if we have a baseline of your behavior, a baseline of your cognitive ability, and suddenly you're exhibiting some of those, perhaps we may suspect reach out to you when class is finished and talk about that, but refrain from that. Uh, this is not 
a learning a learning environment can be fun and those who've been to my class it's fun it's active it we can have a good time but it's respectful and it's about learning so you should keep in mind do not do anything in an online platform that you would not do in class you wouldn't have your children in class there are rare circumstances where because of a, ha a school is school lets out early or you don't have a babysitter you may talk to your instructor and they say professor can i bring my daughter or my son to class absolutely we've done that but five children running around in your class that doesn't happen all the time and likewise with your pets now your four-legged friends and other pets part of your family you don't bring them to class do you i don't expect to see you with your cat as cute as that cat may be on your shoulder do your class or your dog as adorable as that dog may be um, if you have a service animal absolutely you would bring a service animal to class so certainly your service animal could be here the same expectations in person are the same expectations here and I also want to talk, what if you have to leave? Now, just because your class met in person Thursday at 9 a.m., perhaps now that it's online, it might have been changed to another time that was agreed on by the majority of people, of persons in the class, but something may come up that you can't make one, one class. The same thing, if you were gonna miss a class in person, you would send a message to your instructor, hey, professor, it's Cheryl, I, I'm going to be late, I can't make sure that class or I have something that I cannot miss. Um, I'll follow up with you to get some information on that class. The same thing, or I have to leave early. The same exact thing. So when that instructor is watching the, the dashboard and have 35 students and all of a sudden, halfway into the class it's going down to 30 29 26 27 they know who's there that's unprofessional send your instructor a message hey professor um you know something's happening this you know this this today with my family i have to leave class early professionalism the same thing that you would do in person are the same expectations here okay I, I hope this helps. It's just a brief video to just give you some tips as a reminder that an online classroom has the same objectives as an in-person class. And also remember that as some of you are learning and this is new to you, it's, it may be new to your instructor and together both of you can get better at this communication, engaging, learning platform from a distance, but still connecting. And I think I'll end with that. As always, if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I hope you stay. Have a good day.